Hello, this is Scott Smith from Cobra Firing Systems, and I'm going to show you how to use a Talon igniter clip to fire a standard Visco fuse. You first take your Talon igniter clip and you pry it open, kind of like a clothespin. Then you take your Visco fuse, kind of like a clothesline, and you place that clothespin right over the clothesline. Once in place, just secure and push down over the top. Then, we're going to make sure the system is armed, which it is, and we're going to fire our Talon igniter clip. Now let's take a moment and review the construction of the Talon igniter clip. On the back of the clip, you'll see this kind of acts like a clothespin. What you can do is you can press on the back and that's going to open the mouth of the clip. And as you open the mouth of the clip, you can actually see inside that there's a small filament. This is a nichrome non-pyrogen filament. This is legal to ship anywhere in the world. And what you're going to do is by opening this up, this gives you the room to place in the visco fuse on the side, just like we did in the earlier demonstration. Now, to talk a little bit about what makes this talent clip special, I'm just going to go ahead and remove the band. And I'm just going to remove this bottom half of the clip. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this small little drill bit here and I'm going to kind of go in through behind this filament. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull that filament out, okay, just as such. And if I do that, you're going to now see that that filament has actually expanded, okay. And what's also nice is that filament actually hasn't broken continuity. It's actually still connected to this little spool within the clip. And now one of the benefits of that is when you put the visco fuse into that clip, that filament is going to actually wrap snugly right around that fuse creating the maximum surface contact area which gives the clip the ability to be extremely reliable when firing that visco fuse. Now I just happen to have this clip hooked up to a firing system right now and it's not hooked up to a fuse but what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to fire this this nichrome clip so you're going to see that it's actually going to burn. Okay. Now that burns right through and normally that's just going to burn right through the fuse and right into the black powder and cause that fuse to go. Now I'm going to perform the exact same demonstration, this time actually firing a fuse using the Talon igniter clip. So you can just see the details of how this is actually going to fire in practice. So I'm going to take the clip, I'm going to expand it out like a clothespin. Now it's key that I go in through the side. You do not want to thread it in this way or come in through the top like you're threading a needle. That will cause for the filament to actually spool out and create a poor connection with the fuse. So you actually want to go in just like you're clipping over a clothesline with the clothespin. Grip down firmly on that, okay? And then what we're going to do here is I'm just going to get a nice shot of this actually firing. Now I'm going to demonstrate a method for connecting your talon clip directly to the fuse on your common consumer cake such that it's secure and it will hold nicely during your show. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your cake here and you're going to see that I have my standard fuse that comes out the side. And I'm just going to go ahead and take my talon igniter clip and use the same technique that I've used in, in my other video and earlier on in this demonstration. And we're just going to connect to the side and we're going to press on that firmly. Now, one of the things that commonly happens out in the field is someone may kick this wire and cause this to come loose. And uh, what's bad about that is if it comes loose, you're going to still show continuity on your firing system, but when you fire it, it's not necessarily going to ignite the cake. So one of the common techniques if you can use is you can use duct tape, or in this case I have some Gorilla tape. You can just kind of take a piece of that, rip it open, and then what you're going to do is just simply take your cake and you're just simply going to press this on here, kind of nice and snug. And what that'll do is that'll ensure that that stays on there. And then additionally, and I do recommend doing this, you can take another piece of tape and you can then just provide an additional level of strain relief on the side. Now what that means is you can pull on this really hard and this first level right here is just going to provide a nice strain relief 
and then this will stay secure. And then when that talon clip igniter goes, it's going to go right in. And you don't have to worry about oxygen uh, or sealing this because that fuse does have an oxidized black powder, which will which will uh, burn properly even though it doesn't have any oxygen within this. Great. So I hope you enjoyed the video as far as basics of e-firing. If you have any questions, you can contact me via email or call me directly based on the phone number on the website. Thank you very much.